This time we're talking about Outlook Inbox Management. I get a lot of email, so trying to manage it and prioritize the email to bring stuff to my attention is difficult. So this is one of the tips and tricks that I've learned. Okay, well to demonstrate and explain what the heck I'm talking about. First, we're, we're using a couple of things here in Outlook. One of them is the rules. And we'll get into that just a little bit, but um, the other is your context um, folders. So you go down here, you go down to the, your contacts, and then you can create a new contact group. I already have one here created. So if I go down here and I, you have to. One thing you have to do to use it is you have to go to Outlook address book and check the folder that show this folder as a email address book. This allows you to use that um, this folder. And basically what these folders are is you can create in your contacts, you can have multiple folders. As you see, I have a lot of them. But for support, in, in this folder I've put Kind of businesses and things that I use for support. And so what I'm creating a rule to do is as email comes in from any one of these contacts, it can be managed. It can be assigned a category. It can be moved to a folder. It can be deleted, depending on what it is and what the priority is. So you can pop up alerts and for support, you want to know when it's coming in. So it's just, it's, not, it's handy. And then when you go back to your, your email, access the rules. Select under move, go to rules, manage rules and alerts. And let's just, I'm going to delete that one and recreate it. So I'm going to create a new rule. Applied as I receive messages. And these are the conditions on what you want to see. So what I go down here is you go to sender is from a specific address group. So I'll select that group and I'm going to select my support group. Say add. That's all you need from here. Now here are the actions that you can do with it. You can either move it to a folder or I want to assign it to a category. I want to, let's see, I'm going to play a sound and display a desktop alert so I know that it's coming in. So now I go down here and select a sound and just any wave file, I've got some media selected here. And then you have this, a category. So you go down here and I'm, I already have a category set up or you can create a new one. So, and, and then next. And then these are your exceptions. What you want um, in case something you don't want it to happen. So if I want, for example, here I want to accept if it's an automatic reply. So if somebody, if it's when I send in a, a support request, I get an automatic reply, and I don't need to be notified of that all the time. So now this is support, and and here we are. So let's go ahead and finish. It's okay, and apply, and. It just notifying you that some of these rules are only will work when Outlook is open. So that's the only thing I say, okay. So now, if we go back up to the inbox, go to rules. Well, let's see, this, before we go up here, let's go to folders. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a search folder. So you go to folders and new search folder. And I want to find mail that's been categorized.
and select my support category. And OK. So now it shows everything that's already been categorized for support. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one and show it in favorites. So it brings it up here. And now we're going to go into go back to go to move rules manage rules run the rules. Now let's run this support one that we just created and and this includes subfolders and run. And this I assigned it a, a, a sound effect. That's why we're hearing all these. Say, close this and close this. So, and what that did is it moved all of the email from anybody that in my support group into this mailbox. So I can come down here and I can see all of my support emails. I um, also want to demonstrate how to add contacts to a contact group. It can, you know, you can move them over manually, but it's sometimes easier as you get an email, incoming email, you can just, in it's if for support, you can just right click on it and say move and say copy to a folder. And then say go to the contacts into your support folder and OK. What this will do is it will make a copy of your contact and it automatically, when you, it, it notices that it's a, when you move it or copy it, it goes, it realizes it's a contact folder so it converts the email to a contact and then allows you to add, add it to the and if and if it's already in there, it'll update it or include it into the into the contacts that are in the support group. Enjoy.